How's it going guys? My name's Cody. I'm from Apogee and hanging out with the Audio MIDI guys. We are going to take a look at Jam by Apogee. All right, so this is Jam by Apogee. You are looking at the world's first digital audio interface for iOS devices. Okay, what does that mean? Well, there are a lot of other products on the market right now that allow you to connect your guitar or your bass or your keyboard, whatever instrument, to iOS devices like the iPhone and iPad. However, Jam is the first that is actually taking your analog audio waveform, which is coming through your quarter inch cable from your guitar, your bass, whatever you're connecting. Inside, we have very advanced analog circuitry. It took us a long time uh, to design. Uh, people look at, at uh, you know, products like Jam oftentimes and think, oh, it's small, this is something easy. Well, believe it or not, this really took us a lot of time. We put a lot of, uh, a lot of effort into getting the best possible sound in a small package, not always easy to do. So it's taking your analog audio, converting it to digital, and it's running out, you can see up top here, purely digital into whatever it's connecting to, be it the iPhone, the iPad, or your Mac. It, just like Mike, connects to all three devices. So just about across the board, you can connect it to, uh, to just about everything. Now, uh, one other thing I want to point out before we move on, right over here on the side, like I mentioned, it does have an audio converter that converts from analog to digital inside. Because of that, we can actually adjust our gain with a little gain control on the side of Jam, as opposed to having to go into software to make all kinds of adjustments. Uh, also, very conveniently, there's an LED located on the front of Jam that's going to allow us to quickly see where our level's at, whether it's too high or too low, and make adjustments on the fly with the gain control. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna give you the couple steps you're gonna need so that out of the box you can connect your jam and start having fun. Okay, so here are the steps. Uh, first off, you are going to make sure that you don't have any applications running in the background. Let's say at some point you had your system preferences open. You guys are probably gonna have quite a few different applications running. Uh, to quit them, I'm gonna double tap on the home screen. You will have a list of all the different applications running. You saw that I just opened my settings, so they are still running in the background. To quit it, I'm gonna click and hold down till it starts dancing. Then I'm gonna click on the red circle in the upper left-hand corner to quit it. I'm now ready to move on to the next step, which would be connecting my headphones and connecting my jam. So I'm gonna take the 30-pin connector that comes with jam, connect it to the 30-pin port of my iPad. The Hiroshi N, I'm going to connect to the top of jam and you're gonna see when I plug it in, the LED lights up, letting me know that it's getting power, but it's not yet ready to record. That's why I went to that blue light. As soon as I open up the recording application, you are gonna see it change from the blue light back to the green light, letting me know that it is at that point ready to record. So let's do that. I have GarageBand down here in my dock. I'm gonna click one time to open it up. Now I should point out to you, while this is opening, there are so many different applications that are compatible with Jam. We have a list of, I don't know, 50, 60 of them, something like that on our website, and there are probably a whole bunch of others that aren't even listed there. Uh, and there are more becoming compatible every day. So um, if you want, you can use a whole bunch of different apps. My favorite though at the time is GarageBand. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to get everything set up in. All right, now by default, GarageBand opens up to the previous song that you had open. For this uh, video, I'm going to create a new song by clicking on My Songs up in the upper left-hand corner. Down at the bottom, I have two sheets with a plus on them. I'm gonna click once on that, and I'm gonna create a new song from this menu. Okay, now GarageBand is asking me what uh, is the instrument, what instrument do I wanna start with? Now, if I was using something like mic, I would probably do the audio recorder or the sampler. However, since I'm using Jam, I'm going to select the guitar amp. Now, GarageBand, if you've messed around with it at all, you know has amazing amps. I mean, they have so many different sounds, different types of, you know, very classic vintage amp modeling here. Uh, you can see as I scroll through, obviously some of them are so recognizable, like the Orange and the, the Fender Tweeds and the Marshalls and the, the Mesa Boogies. And um, you really, you, you have a whole bunch of different options, so you can kind of play around in here, uh, find the, the tones and the sounds you like. But before you can actually get to that, you need to make sure that your monitoring is turned on. Okay, without monitoring, you're actually not going to be able to hear what you're playing. So we are going to head up to the upper left-hand corner and click one time on the little quarter-inch icon 
and make sure that monitoring is turned on. And there we go. Now, last uh, thing that we need to make sure we do is obviously connect our instrument. So if I was playing guitar, I would plug the quarter inch cable of my guitar into jam. If I was playing bass, keyboard, whatever, believe it or not, I have even connected dynamic microphones. I connected a 58 to this um, using a quarter inch to XLR cable and it still came out sounding fantastic. I was blown away. Uh, if you want to get even better results, you can use an impedance matching transformer. However, when I was uh, trying it out, I wasn't even using one, it still sounded great. Uh, so anyway, you got your instrument connected at this point now, you got monitoring turned on, you are ready to start jamming. You're gonna cycle through, find the amp you want, okay? You can make any adjustments you'd like, turn anything up or down, and when you are ready, you are gonna click on the red circle in the uh, middle of the screen at the very top to start recording. And there you have it, it's that easy to get up and running with Jam in about, what, two minutes? We did everything we needed to do, and uh, that's about it. All right, guys, and there you have it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, these are just the basics that you need to get up and running with Jam. Okay, now there are so many more advanced tips and tricks that uh, we could get into, and we are going to be doing that. Keep an eye on our website, apogeedigital.com. Uh, we're posting videos all the time. And that's, uh, that's it, you have it. Thanks for hanging out with me, Cody from Apogee, hanging out with the Audio MIDI guys, and uh, showing you Jam by Apogee.